Good evening everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to, well technically it's test two, however, as you can see I'm not looking around in any direction in particular, uh, this is your first guy you're going to run to, this guy's name is Harold, um, basically I want to give you an overview of the game. How you get started, what you can do, what you can't do, what you should do, and as I drive around on on a boat, you're going to um, you're gonna want to. Uh, I I got a few things I'd like to discuss as I travel around, but this is where you're gonna start off pretty much. Out here in the water, what happens is the first of all the game of course. A thousand Roblox. So if you don't have a thousand Roblox, you're not getting into the game. Uh, once you're into the game, the first thing you are given is the option to create your avatar. Your Roblox avatar, as you can see, if you remember my avatar with the, the metal hat and the, the, the giraffe shirt and whatnot your avatar from roblox does not come into this game and why does he keep looking around like he's clueless anyway when you start the game you will come in and you will get a, a character generation screen where you can pick the hair um and a couple other things i think the color of the hair length of the hair is different styles and once you say okay and you start the game you will spawn right out around here. Um, for lack of a better word, you will be hatched out of a barrel. And this is, this is going to be the first area you're going to see. So, unless you don't like going to where you're being placed, you're going to come into here and this is going to be the first non-player character NPC that you're going to talk to. He's Harold. He doesn't do much. He just talks a little bit, and that's about it. Um, but when you come into the world, I'm gonna when once the sun comes up, we'll see. Uh, we got a little bit of time before that. When you come into the world, the first thing you need to do is get money. The easiest way to get money when you're not when you just started out is to go into one of these buildings, grab these crates. E, pick it up and if you walk and hit Q you will throw it and it'll break and he's a kip see I got one kip right here plus one this is how you start off this is how you make money you can break barrels you can chest you can check chests see if there's anything in them dressers there's also chests around um, I'll only on this island. If you're lucky, you'll find an axe like this without the person's name on it. If you see in the lower left corner, the person's name is on it, so I can't pick this up. Occasionally, there'll be one here that you can pick up. But uh, for the most part, you know, you, you'll, if you find one, you'll get lucky. And if you get an axe and like that lucky, you get to save a few bucks and you get a head start on the game. This is where you can buy a lantern, you can buy some hats, you can buy some shirts. Uh, up here, more, more, more things to break. Uh, you can open this up and you'll get a few kip out of it. I already did it, that's why there's nothing here. I don't remember how much was in here. Maybe five or no, maybe ten. There's other ones in other buildings. This is where you're going to want to get a backpack. Eventually, you're going to want to get a bigger backpack. Let's pull the light out. Light up this corner a little bit. There we go. Uh, I happen to have a cowboy hat, but I'm not wearing it right now. Uh, if you continue further into town right here, you got a little parkour thing to get to a chest on the island. I think there's 20 or 30 kip in there, something like that, maybe 25. 
underneath one of these, there's another thing with Kip. Again, Kip is a currency here. She's making a soup. She's going to want you to get stuff for her. She'll give you money as you do it. Once you get enough money to chop down wood, thank you. Right on top of me. Nice. Yes, that's another thing, by the way. You can get stuff thrown at you and you can get knocked down. If you come into here, this is the Good Woods Shop. You can buy axes here. This is your very basic axe. Stone axe with, um, I believe, poplar wood. This is a slightly more advanced axe. Also stone, so it does the same amount of damage per chop. But the oak wood handle makes you chop a little bit faster. Um, the different woods could do, will do that for you. And this is a saw. Basically what you need to do is you need to chop down a piece of wood. Let's see, is this a piece of wood somebody's? Yes. You need to chop down a piece of wood. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe you can do one of these. And I can show you real quick. Tab. Tab brings up your inventory. I have the best axe right now available in the game. A steel axe with a black ebony handle. You just chop down your wood. You let it fall over. Cut it up into pieces. This is similar to Lumber Tycoon 2, if you guys are familiar with that. Switch over to your saw. This is the equivalent of your saw mill in Lumber Tycoon 2. And it'll take it and cut it into a piece of wood and then you pick it up. Now I have a plank in my inventory. If I take the plank and put it up here. And then I bring it to my active hand like this. And then let's go back into the... We'll go back into the wood shop, which is this place. I will be able to sell it to the guy here in the wood shop. When you, you have to have it in your hand and out like, it, like I do now. And when you come here, you hit E to talk. And he will offer you seven kips. That's the currency, kips. So you can sell it. And you get seven kips. Uh, let's see. There's some basic blueprints in here and a blueprint book. Actually, it's just a blueprint book. When you when you buy a blueprint book, and I'll show you real quick. Let's go B. What you will get by default is this blueprint right here, which is a wood block. So you can build wood blocks. Um, if I go to build this, see I can't place it here. I don't know if I can place it anywhere. Or I can place it over here. If I place it here, I can stretch it out. I can go 12 by 12. Come on. It's fighting me. Why? But you can go 12 by 12 by 12. The bigger you make it, the more wood it's going to take to fill it. Let's hit F to finish. Come on. Doesn't want to finish. I probably can't build here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It just finished. You will come up here. You will see... I need seven pieces of wood to fill this blueprint. Full size blueprint, 12 by 12 by 12. It will take, I believe, nine pieces of wood to fill. Okay, so let's say now you got some money, you got yourself an axe. Um, you got yourself a saw, you got a few bucks on you. Um, what I would suggest is you cut down trees, plank them out, sell them till you get about three. You got to get 300 bucks or more. And then if you head over here, under the highest resolution right here, you can see another 
little town with a lighthouse. Also, if you come up close here, yes, there's another island over, over here. If you come over here to read this sign, you hit E to read the sign. And it says there's a town in this direction. Okay, so that's how you get started. You spawn in, you sell off wood, you get some money, you get yourself an axe, you get yourself a saw, buy yourself a blueprint book. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put that back in my backpack. Now, what you're going to have to do the first time to get to that island is you're going to have to swim it. Because you don't have a boat yet. What's this? Piece of copper that belongs to somebody. Uh, you cannot spawn your boat in until you reach deeper waters. Here it comes. That water back there was too shallow. I had to come out a little bit. Don't forget to sit and then head over to the other town. Now, over in the other town here, there's more stuff. There's better things to do. Um, as you can see, this is a sailboat. These little squiggly lines you see in the air shows you the direction the air is flowing. If it's flowing in the direction you want to go, you will go fast. If it's flowing against you, you will go slow and your cell will not be out. Alright, so now we come over to this island. And once we get there. See, now the wind direction is turning. I'm going a lot slower. My cell's out, but I'm going so much against the wind that I'm going very slowly. And you hit a little pier here. And of course, like I said, you will be swimming your way here. So once you get here and you have 300 kip, you can come here and you can buy this boat. E, we check it. $300, it's a tiny boat. Only seats one person. This one is a bigger boat. It seats three. Also costs more money, 700 versus 100, uh, 300. And if we come over here, this is the big boat. This boat seats five. Now, most people are going to have their own boat. So, at this point in time, I think these boats are a waste of time. There's no difference in speed, I've been told. Only thing that's different is how many people can fit in it. Uh, we come over here, and Chamal here, he moves around a little bit. Sometimes he's in front of the counter, sometimes he's behind the counter. He will buy stone. You will need a hammer and chisel for stone. Um, sorry, not a hammer, a pickaxe and a chisel for stone. Yeah, that's another thing. Sometimes you move things around in the inventory, it gets a little glitchy. So let's do, I just want to do this real quick because I want to show you guys this. Okay. Alright, we're going to try to sell this off to him. He buys metal and he buys stone. Gold for 107 no thanks. I don't want to sell it. Just remember that number 107. We're going to be talking about that a little later on. This is another place you can sell stuff. But the deal isn't as good. So. so once you get over here and you get yourself a, a chisel and pickaxe. You can come over here and chip away at this stuff. What I suggest is go close to the edge. You see, somebody cleaned this, all of this stuff. It's very frustrating when somebody does that. That's a backpack. That's what a backpack looks like when it's not on your back. Um... Do, 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 do. A little cave over here. If you notice, there's a hole up. 
There's a way to get in there. But you got to do some Paul Corrin on the rooftops to get there. And when you get there, open up the chest. I'm not going to tell you what's in there. But I just wanted you to know it's it's there. The, sometimes there's another chest under here. One of these has a chest underneath it. And now we're back over to where we started. More or less. As I travel, I'll show you what the deal is. I already showed you how to chop the wood. Now, there's another place besides this guy that buys stone and metal. Oh, back here, you got to take your little, your raw metal and you got to smelt them. You need wood and obviously the raw metal and it'll spit out ingots and... This is a, a gold ingot. If we go into this backpack, these I think these are either tin or silver or aluminum. I'm not sure. And these are are iron. Oh, let's find out what these are. Tab two. E to sell them. They're tin. I'm not going to sell them right now. I found them. Somebody smelted them and I found them. So. So it's free stuff for me to work with. See? Glitch. I won't put that in there. And my thing did not show up here. Either you close it out or reopen it. Or change backpacks and change back to that one. And then it will be back. It's just a glitch. Got to remember the game's an alpha. But I'm telling you, the game's crazy good. Okay. Now, there's another place. Um, due east of here. And I'm going to head over there. See, there's a, that's a copper. Raw copper. Uh, raw copper. Raw, raw tin. E, we're going to spawn our boat in. Here comes our boat. Alright. Now, as you are probably aware, Code, Amazing Gaming, myself, and a few others. Whoops, I shrunk the screen by accident. Have probably have not been putting out any Lumber Tycoon 2 videos. And this is where I'm going to talk to you about, you know, what's going to happen there. One thing you need to remember is the Faultio made this game as well as Lumber Tycoon 2, as you're probably aware. And... Is this Lumber Tycoon 3? The answer is yes and no. I've heard people say this is the sug sug <whistles> succession of Lumber Tycoon 2. This has a little bit more to it. I'm going to go over to this island real quick. Just because I want to show you how to use the pickaxe. Hopefully there's something I can chop up over here. Uh, I don't see anything. Everything I see is in somebody's property. Alright, we'll continue over. This blue right here, this is a border. You, if Once I go through this blue, I will teleport and load into a new zone. Um, I'll go back to um, what I was talking about with Lumber Tycoon 2 in a minute. Alright, I'm in a new zone and I am way underwater. Let's swim up. 
Usually you spawn through and you have your ship and that's it. And you just keep going. Sometimes your ship disappears like just now. Sometimes you spawn in and you're underwater with your ship. You sit and go. Okay. So what I did is I went east one zone. You can go from spawn, you can go north, south, east, and west, two zones in each direction. So if you do the math, that's five zones across, five zones down. And of course, the wind stops again. So the northern zones, they have snow islands or ice islands and they have their own material on them um let me see if i can chisel up something off of this island all right this doesn't look like it's on property lines right here so i'll show you real quick how to do this so anyway like i was saying we'll just turn around here like I was saying, there's five zones. The spawn zone is in the middle of the map, and you got two zones in every all four of the directions. So you have two to the north, two to the south, two to the east, two to the west. So it makes a five by five grid. Um, they're technically different servers, but you will go everybody goes into the same server there's only one instance of each zone so all right now chopping this is clean that's frustrating i can't even show you how to chop a piece of rock all right let's get back on my boat Okay, let's continue on and let's continue with our discussion. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. All right. We're going to head over to this island. I think I know somebody who lives over, quote unquote, lives over here. Anyway, um,. Like I said, some people said this is the succession to Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, I think, and a few of us other people think, that this, this game here is going to be the beginning of the end of Lumber Tycoon 2. As long as this game continues to exist and continues to take off, and if it becomes 100% public, it's going to take over Lumber Tycoon 2, and, and Lumber Tycoon 2, over time, will no longer have the popularity that it does currently have. And this game will get it. Um, that is what we think is going to happen and I'm not the only one that thinks that. Um, I've asked Code Primate the same question. Do you think Lumber Tycoon is going to die now that this is out? And he answered almost immediately with a yes. So, this looks like the end of Lumber Tycoon. The other problem is, in a few months' time now, Lumber Tycoon 2, if recorded, will be considered a children's game and it'll end up causing the um where's a rock here's some rocks over here okay if you're here to chop it up just chop away if you're here to get the metal resources as you can see this this has um tin in it you would cut it on the edge like this there's your piece of tin you would pick it up uh, of course it's not going to let me right now right that's another glitch if you're going for the rock use a chisel to make it a stone 
It's, it's having issues having me pick it up right now. But that's that's how you use the hammer and chisel. So, like I said, we think Lumber Tycoon 2 is all but gone. Um, there's not going to be any videos of it anymore, at least not by code, after about three, four months from now. Uh, same thing with Amazing Gaming, and same thing with myself, because I'm going to stop playing this and not that. So, uh, let's sit down, and let's continue to head east. I'm trying to find the other island where you uh, where you can do some stuff. It's called Adventure Island. It's in the zone just east of... Oh, there, it, there it is coming right there. I think that's it. Yep. You can tell because it's got the, the giant turntable thingy there. Geophone or whatever that... I don't know what it's called. So... That's what we're thinking is going to happen there. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take. Defaultio may release some presents this year for the holidays. Because this is still an alpha, so it's still not 100% sure this is going to exist in the real world, per se. In the uh, And like I said, it's a thousand Roblox to play, you know, that's $10. So, and of course the wind turns against me again. I really wish I'd get a wind, wind blow up. Oh, maybe it's finally turning around. Not really. Come on, wind. There we go. Now we're hitting, now we're hitting the gas pedal. There's a few more blueprints over here. I didn't show you the blueprint store, but I showed you the blueprint book. You buy a blueprint, you place it in your book, and as long as you don't lose your book, you have blueprints. You lose your book, you 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 ain't got no blueprints. All right, this the main store of interest for me anyway is the one up here. This one has various hats. You can wear the candle as a hat and light it. It will act as a little torch for you. It has a larger backpack. Um, the small this is this is the larger backpack. The smaller backpack only has two rows. This one has three. Um, this is a blueprint. What's this blueprint for? This is a waypoint blueprint. 1100 bucks. Eventually I may buy it, but right now I don't really need it. This is a tin shirt and tin pants. These are good for the volcano. Yes, there's a volcano here like there is in Lumber Nikon 2. Without, if you do not have this on, you will take damage and you will die. Um, if you look at what I'm wearing, I got the purple scarf on and this hat, this hat can be purchased in here and the scarf, I believe. No, they can't. Okay. Let's go check this place out. For me, it's easy to just go straight across and try and walk across the, uh... Alright. This is the place that has them. You can also get the large backpack here. This is the scarf. 160 buck, buck, 160 kips. I 
And the other one's over in the other shop, of course. All right, so you got to get the hat over there. It's the hunter's, I believe it's called the hunter's hat or something like that. You need that hat. You need that scarf to be able to survive the northern ice, the northern ice or snow islands. Otherwise, you will die of frostbite there. This guy here, he will buy stuff from you also. But keep in mind, he doesn't give a good price. If you remember, the other place told me 107 for this. I go to sell it, he's asking me 94 So I'd rather get, I'd rather travel one more zone and get, a, get the extra money. So, okay, so that's it, guys. That's my overview. That's my thoughts of this game, LT2. Um... This game is very addictive. The only drawback is it's a lot. It's a very, very vast with the five zones. And. Ooh, there's a cave down here. I never. I don't know if I ever looked in here. Um, I think I have. Yeah, somebody puts a tree in my way, of course. Alright, so there's really nothing much in there. Alright, guys, gals, we're going to wrap the video up right here in front of this light. And on that note, I'd like everybody out there to like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts. Um, as you can see, I have the tin pants and tin shirt on. I also have the scarf and the hat on so I can go anywhere without having to worry about change clothes. Um, that's just my convenience and my laziness to not want to have to constantly change clothes every time I go somewhere. Anyway, guys, like I said, like, subscribe, set your alerts. Um, comments are appreciated. Um, if I missed something that you think should have been in this video, let me know. Um, I'll gladly add it to somewhere else because I'll probably make a few more videos on this game. Um, it's Like I said, it's a really good game. It just costs a lot of money to get started. Costs a lot of Robux. A thousand Robux to get started. Okay, the moon's going down. Oh, is this half moon today? And over here in the east, we should be seeing the sun come up shortly. There we go. You can see it's just starting to crest. And what's going to happen is these are set for a day-night. So as soon as it becomes full day, these will turn off. Um, all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts. Um... Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you think of the game. Um, let me know if you were thinking about buying the game. Uh, see, see, the light just went out. If you want to buy the game and play it, I would recommend you do. It's a really good game. Even though it's in alpha, there are a few minor glitches right now. But overall, this game is in very good shape. Plays very nicely. A um, little bit of lag here and there, depending on where you are and how many people are in there and what they're building but overall the game is really good i would highly recommend this to anybody so like i said like subscribe comment set your alerts let me know what you think of the game if you've been playing it let me know if you're thinking of buying it um anything like that would be really awesome um on that note guys thank you very much for watching my videos don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts, and we will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.